Well, here's portrait number six. It's uh, my last large-scale portrait in graphite on paper glue to board. Unfortunately, I lost the first takes, uh, which I took uh, the, the first structure of the drawing. I'll bring that up here in next drawings. Um, this is the first part of the drawing, and what I do here is a very classic color approach. I just start working with hard pencils with soft uh, tones and slowly build the first image of the drawing until I have a complete view of it balanced and not too dark, not, not too light, just enough to have a complete view of the, of the portrait I'm working on. Like I do when I paint, what I try is to create a rich image, what I try to uh, have as much information as possible in every square inch of the drawing. I try to make it uh, diverse and full of information, details, uh, changes in, in the surface of the drawing. And once I have this uh, first complete image done, is when I apply a first coat of water mixed with, uh, with glue, uh, with classical glue, in the proportion of 10-15% of glue and a liter of water. And what this first coat does is it changes the surface of the, of the paper. It creates a really interesting texture. Uh, and at the same time, it uh, offers like a screen of protection, which is going to allow me to uh, work, to keep on working with pencil and eraser, but also, as we can see here, with water applied with brushes, uh, thick or thin brushes, or even with paper towel. And by doing this, I'm gonna remove part of the graphite that is on the surface of the paper. And this is gonna create a much richer and diverse uh, surface. At the same time, uh, it's gonna change the, the way we understand drawing, because it's not gonna be a, a one direction process where I add more and more information and when I get to the end the drawing is done. In this case we can go back and forth where I have the darker parts I can start removing that information and creating new uh, paths so the process is going to be as I said with the painting it's going to be open I'm going to just use the image as a source of information and I'm going to see if I need more detail here, less, if it's working fine. And that way it's gonna be an open procedure that uh, will keep it alive as long as we work. And of course, at the end, I'm gonna use just a part of the information that we have in the image, either if it's a photography or natural. Uh, but as we said, trying to imitate the great Antonio Lopez, we just pick what we think we need until we create an image like this. Of course, I can add uh, more uh, water with glue, with, uh, with glue, as many times as, as I need. In fact, I use it a lot, all the time. And at the same time, we're working slowly more on the darker and lighter parts of the drawing, as I did with the painting. It's a, it's a process where we are like bringing up the, the image from the bottom of the of the surface and just at the end of the drawing we can get the darker details worked on and the little spots of bright light wherever we need them just with clean water we can get almost the original white of the paper and this is the piece once it's finished hope you like it and we'll back soon with more bye bye thank you